Welcome back. So let's try and play around with uh, delete user. Right now it's very simple. We're just removing the actual users. Now we also need to remove the actual rule of that user, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in a bit of code here. We have to make a few changes to do this actually, a few places. So let's run over that. First of all, I'm converting now my delete user into actually being a replace object. Why? Because I actually want to be able to catch errors here as well later, right? So if the user couldn't be deleted for some reason, I want to know, right? So that's kind of the goal of this. Now, so I just make the replace object that we did earlier. I make a check that the user is defined that I'm getting from the outside. This is new to get the user instead of just the key. So I'm figuring that out if the user is actually there and he has a key. If so, then I'm going to delete the user using the key. That was like we did before. The second step is I'm going to into the roles and saying find the user's role dot ID. Now why do I use dot ID instead of the default key we had before? Because when we're working with users, we actually store the key as an ID and not a key. Let me try and show you this on Firebase. So here the role is actually stored as an ID and not a key. Well, we could, we, we actually can't store it as a key because it's not allowed to do dollar sign key like this. We could have figured out another way to do it, but I'm just going to keep the ID for now because that works. So inside the code, I'll just keep ID here for now. Now to make that work, we have to go into our role TS file and say, we also have an ID here, and that's a string, like this. So now we have the ID and the key, and we can start discussing this is maybe not the best model, but it'll work for now. So let's just continue the work here. Now the ID is actually available, and don't worry, it will be there when we actually create a user. It'll create the role and the ID automatically when it pulls down the users. Then we say on the users, want to remove the key. And again, you just set these values to null, and they'll be gone. It's that simple. And then the last thing we do is we call the root of the object again. We update everything. And then we get a result back and we send that to the result subject. If it goes well, we just send the user. And if we catch an error, we of course can catch that somewhere in our code. Okay, so let's store this. Now the delete user is actually ready to use. Let's try and see what we're actually using it right now. If we go into our user list component here, there we have the delete user right now. And we're only sending in a key right now. But the new situation, we're going to send in an actual user here. So let me just change this into user and put it in here. The other thing we need to do is actually subscribe now. So I'll do a subscribe and I'll get a user back when we're done here. And I could do whatever I want with this user. Right now, let's just write a console log saying deleting user. And the name of the user, or let's just put in the actual user here just to make it simpler. There we go. We could also add, add the catchphrase here if we wanted to, like saying error like this. And that's going to end up in, in some kind of console log error here or whatever you guys want to do with it. I don't want to build all of this because there's a lot to do still. So you get the idea. You can do the same thing that we did earlier when we created the user. It could pop up a dialogue. You could do whatever you want explaining the user is now gone. So now the delete user part is ready inside the list. One more place we need to change that, and that is inside our users component. Because here we're actually calling the delete function. And right now we're emitting, notice this, we're emitting only the key. Now we want to emit the entire user to whoever is listening. That's only allowed if we go up here and explain to the emitter that we're going to return a user. There we go. Now that should also work. So now we have changed these four different classes. And that's pretty much all it took. So let's go into the course plan and try and see this actually working. So I'm pressing the delete here and I'm saying, yeah, I'm sure to delete. And I get an object back deleting the specific object down here. And that looks fine. So actually I got the object that back that he has now deleted. Okay, what about Firebase? Let's have a look at Firebase. Look at this, no users are available anymore. All my roles are still there, but they have no users below them. Everything is deleted. Whee! Now, how do I actually update the data to try this again? Instead of creating users all the time, which you can do, I think you guys should just make an, a JSON. So I'm just going to import a JSON file. I found my JSON file here in the browse and I say import, and now I'm back to pretty much the system I had before. So before you do the delete, figure out a system that you can actually work with and just Try out your delete, re-import your code, uh, sorry, your data. Start saving your data and just re-import it. It's just easier than creating users again and again and again, okay? That's all for this lesson. Now you know how to actually use, um, again, updates for deleting items just by adding these, these null values here inside um, the actual component down here. Adding these equals null for the path, right? So that's all for the lesson. See you next time.